In this presentation, we will understand how for loop works with the dictionary. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is iterating over a dictionary. The second topic is accessing values of a dictionary. The third topic is accessing keys of a dictionary. And the fourth topic is accessing keys and values of a dictionary. So, let's get started with the first topic that is iterating over a dictionary. For loop can be used to iterate over a dictionary. We have already learned in our previous presentation how for loop can be used to iterate over a list. Similarly, we can use for loop to iterate over a dictionary. Now, let's understand with the help of an example how for loop can be used to iterate over a dictionary. Let's create this dictionary course. This course dictionary consists of these two key value pairs. The first key value pair is name python and the second key value pair is instructor jaspreet. So, this means that the name of the course is python and the instructor of this course is jaspreet. Now, let's say that the requirement is to print these keys on the screen. For this purpose, we can use this for statement for x in course. This statement allows us to access each key of this dictionary. These keys are assigned to this variable x one at a time. Within this for loop, we can use print x to print each key of this dictionary on the screen. So, x will hold each key of this dictionary one at a time and we can use print x to print each key of this dictionary. So, the output of this program is name instructor. One thing to note here is that if we use this statement, then we will get keys and not values. But if we want to access values of this dictionary, then we can do that as well. This is what our next topic is all about. Now, we will learn how to access values of a dictionary. Values can be accessed using square bracket notation. If we want to access values of a dictionary, we can use the square bracket notation for this purpose. Now, in order to understand how to access values of a dictionary using square bracket notation, we will consider one simple example. Let's take the same course dictionary and this time in place of keys we want to access values. For this purpose, we will use the same for statement for x in course, but now this time the print function will be updated. This time, this is how our print function looks like. Course x. Within square brackets, we are passing x. Now, what does this mean? We know that each value of this dictionary can be accessed using square bracket notation. Within square brackets, we can pass the key of the dictionary whose value we want to access. We know this variable will first receive this key name and because of this, at runtime this variable x will be replaced by this key name. Eventually, course name will give us this value python. This is how square bracket notation works. The second time, this variable x will receive this key instructor. This time, this variable will be replaced by instructor. Eventually, course instructor will give us this value just breathe. So, we know the output of this program now. The output of this program is python and then just breathe. But note that this is not the only way to access values of this dictionary. We can use the values method as well. So, values method allows us to access values of a dictionary. So, let's learn how to do this. Let's consider the same course dictionary. And this time we want to access these values using values method. For this, we need to update our for statement as follows. For y in course dot values. Here the variable name does not matter. 
one thing that matters is course dot values so this time we are not just using course we are using course dot values this allows us to access values of this dictionary these values will be assigned to this variable y one at a time then after this we just need print y within this for loop to print each value of this dictionary the output of this program is python just print so i hope this concept is clear how to access values of a dictionary there are two ways one way is to use the square bracket notation and the other way is to use the values method now let's move on to the next topic that is accessing keys of a dictionary we have already learned how to access keys using just simple for loop now we will use the keys method to access each key of the dictionary let's learn how to do this for this we will consider the same course dictionary and this time we will use the keys method to access these keys this time we need this for statement for x in course dot keys this time we don't have values we have keys within this for loop we need this print function to this print function we need to pass x if we execute this code we will get this output name instructor so i hope it is clear how to access keys of a dictionary using keys method now let's move on to the next topic that is accessing keys and values of a dictionary to access keys and values of a dictionary we can use items method so keys and values can be accessed using items method let's see how to do this this time we want to access both keys and values of this dictionary we can do that at the same time we just need this for statement for x comma y in course dot items we know that items method returns both keys and values of a dictionary these keys and values can be accessed by these variables x and y we just need comma to separate these variables this variable x represents a key of this dictionary and this variable y represents a value of this dictionary so this variable x represents just one key and this variable y represents just one value now within this for loop we just need this print function to print keys and values one at a time on the screen variable x will first receive this key name and variable y will first receive this value python here we are using print x comma y so first name will be printed then the white space is added by print function because of this comma and then after this python is printed and in the same way instructor and jaspreet is also printed on the screen so the output of this program is name python and instructor jaspreet i hope now it is clear how to access keys and values of a dictionary one at a time using items method this means that we are done with this lecture okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one